My lords, ladies and gentlemen, hello, welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We start this episode sat on one of our newly minted logging freight trains that goes from Macclesfield to Haywood as part of the tools production route for Ulverston that we set up in our last episode. This train has already made one delivery while we were off camera and it made about 4 million from that delivery and as it stands now it's heading, as we can see at the bottom there, back to Macclesfield Forest to hopefully pick up another full load of logs to be processed into planks which can then be shipped over to the tool factory as well. Uh, what we're going to do today, that's a question. Uh, we want to get some tool delivery from the plant to Ulverston into the town of Ulverston itself. That makes sense given it's a uh, close by location. So we'll get that set up. As we say that we're just approaching the bridge over the first river onto the central island that contains Weybridge and Quinchwell Downs. Looks quite nice up here I must say. If we just go a little bit higher we can have a look over the bridge side there as we pass over the river. There, there's Quinchwell Downs there. Its skyline's taken shape. We can see Haywood there just off in the distance. And we see our passenger ferry just making a journey across the river as well. Can't see Weybridge from this position. I'm sure that'll come into view in the not too distant future, however. So yes, getting the tools delivered into Ulverston from the factory is probably a high priority. And then we could probably do away with the shipping, or sorry, the train line, the train system, the train service. That's the one I'm looking for that goes from the tool forge in Coventry to our cargo exchange by Haywood because instead Ulverston will be supplied only by the tools factory just to the west of the city itself and that should free up the tool production at Coventry to focus on the nearer cities such as Coventry itself and I believe Bridport uh, Coventry especially as it has a high demand for tools and it's not even close to keep it up because the tool factory is able to allocate tools for many, many different cities. So that's the first thing we're going to do. From there, I'm not quite sure. I might set up a bus service from Weybridge, which we are just passing now, over to Ulverston as well, because at the moment it's a bit roundabout to get from those two towns. They'd have to take the western main line from Ulverston, change at Gillingham, and then head out towards the passenger exchange that we passed on our left on the river a few moments ago and then get the tram from Bull, uh, Quintrell Downs to Ulvers, uh, to Weybridge. Yeah, you know what I mean, It's a bit, yeah, they'd have to go around the houses essentially and it's probably discouraging travel. So that's another thing I'll set up today because that should be nice and quick and easy but should also make a nice improvement to our cities and our transport network as well. So let's hop off this train now and get started. So the first thing we're going to do, as I said, is get the tools shipped from this factory up here into Ulverston itself. We have a drop-off already set up for Ulverston. I believe it was this one here. It's got decent enough catchment still, but I might just move it over to this place here to get even better catchment, so I'll do that and we can delete this station here that is going to annoy our existing production or delivery line but that's soon to be removed from service anyway so that's no great concern and instead we'll put in a truck station at the tool factory here correctly name this this is Ulverston tool factory and then we'll set up a quick line from the newly minted truck station to the newly dropped in unload point. We want them to be fully loaded if possible but we'll only set a wait time of two minutes. So if they're not fully loaded after two minutes they're going to set off on their way. And then we want to name the line. So this is tools delivery for Ulverston. And then get some vehicles assigned to the line as well. So we want cargo vehicles and we want the Ford Model 77 tarpaulin truck and we'll go for six for now. Get the maintenance set to high because they do enter the city of Ulverston and we want to manage the emissions as best we can. Now obviously this has annoyed this line here. 
However, as I said, this is going to be removed from service, so we'll do that now. So to do that, we first need to sell all the vehicles that we currently have assigned to the line, like that. That warning has disappeared, but the line itself is still present. Where is... Oh, there it is. There's the line. And we can now manage the line and just delete it. It's no longer required. Which also means the train that we had running here is now no longer required as well. However, what, rather than discharging from service, there is a possibility of assigning him to delivery to Bridport instead. How many do we have delivering at the moment? We already have two. I think two's more than enough. So we will just sell that train outright and delete the line. So which one is it? It's that one just there. Manage the vehicles, sell it, and then we can delete the line as well, which is that one there. Manage the line and then remove. There, now the consumers here, it is no longer con uh, supplying Ulverston. We could also remove the one from Petersfield as well, which would distribute these tools between these two cities instead. Perhaps that's another thing we could do while we're here, just to get it out of the way. So again, we'll sell the train and then delete the line. Coventry to Petersfield, that's the one. Delete. There we go. So this tool forge now can focus primarily or solely on Coventry and Bridport because they both have a high demand for tools. We have 608 as a demand in Coventry and in Bridport we have 485. So even this won't be able to meet both demands because it only produces 800 as we can see. But that's okay, it's going to be a lot better than it was because the tools are no longer being shipped all over the map. It is a shame because I've actually spent some time and effort setting up the line to Petersfield and setting up our cargo exchange at Haywood. However, this is still being used because I believe, don't we have, oh no, the bricks are coming in by ship, aren't they? Yes, yeah, so that tool shipping line as well is no longer required either, so we can sell him and get rid of the line. So now this cargo exchange is pr pretty much mothballed, but we'll keep the infrastructure there because it may be something we can utilize for a different purpose in the future, just as one of our planes flies by there. So now we have bricks, fuel, and obviously the grain haulage as well being used here, which is absolutely fine. Why are you not shipping grain? Oh, you are, it's just quite slow. Okay, that's no problem. We don't have a bottleneck up here, do we? We do. That's unfortunate, but what we can do quickly is pause it and add a second access point here say at the bottom just there and then have a road connection down here so the grain trucks come this way and they don't interfere with the delivery trucks that might be waiting for some food to be produced so we'll do that nice and quickly just while we're here bring it off like that and then put a junction in like so chances are we're going to need a waypoint we'll use a post box for all time's sake and then the grain haulage line, if we manage the line after the Hayward Cargo Exchange, if you can now come this way. Yes, and in fact, if we set it to a different platform, it should still stay way clear of our food delivery trucks and the passing through brick trucks as well. So at Derby Food Factory, if you now go to platform one. Okay, you're still going to circle all the way around there. That's why wouldn't you just go up like, can you not do that? I guess not. So no matter where they're going, there's going to be delays, which is a little frustrating. So in that case, we'll send him right around the back instead. Now, it's obviously these trucks aren't going to utilize the new direction just yet, but it shouldn't take too long for them to do so. Here we go. These are now using platform six. Doesn't help that the... Uh, private citizens and their private transport are using this as a through access road. I'd like it if they didn't do that, but they are, and aside from doing one-way streets, which I don't really want to do, there's no clear way to avoid that unless we give them a higher capacity road. Perhaps from here, a branch off... In fact, let's, yeah, would that make them? Would that do a, make any difference? Let's try it, get the roads. 
We have a large country road, which is a higher speed limit, so it should encourage them to take this road instead. Doesn't look... It looks a little bizarre, I will be honest, but it's fine. And we're going to want to bridge over the road network that we have in place already. No, don't do that. Keep level. No, go up a little higher. Keep an embankment. And then go level with a bridge. I always do that. It's quicker just to do it that way, but I never learn. Never learn. And you want an iron bridge because you're fast to speed. That looks pretty good. And then it's just a case of dropping it down somewhere in here where it doesn't look too bad. Perhaps just like that. That's okay. And then I'll just take the edge off the slopes that it's generated for us just to make it look a little bit more blended in like this there we go they're already using the new road and that should alleviate a little bit of the problem i don't think they're having too much impact on the wait times up here but you never know anyway moving on getting from ulverston to waybridge as i said at the moment they can't get there directly so we might just put in a road service between the two so to that end, what I'm going to do is first of all upgrade this road here. What road do you have there? You have a small town road. Perhaps if you came out this way instead. Let's get our town roads here. You are already medium capacity. Perhaps if we give it a large capacity, it will remove some of the buildings. In fact, we'll give it all the way through town. It is going to cause them to have to rebuild a lot of buildings in Ulverston, but that's okay. But as that's the main sort of thoroughfare, thoroughfare through Ulverston, it makes sense for it to be a higher capacity, higher speed road. So we'll do that. In fact, can we give it a bus lane as well to keep the buses out of the way? Yes. Since we do have buses running up and down here, as we can see. And then from this point here, where the road ends, we'll go to a country road, high speed. Do a bridge over the river and drop it off into Weybridge. And that's another private transport connection, which is going to help growth in both of the cities. Which is always a good thing. We don't want a bus lane on this. In fact, yes, I think we do. Because I will actually run a bus service between the two as a sort of shuttle. So we'll do that. We don't want to upgrade. We want to lay a new road. You can have a tunnel there. That's okay. Looks quite, quite nice. Little tunnel through the hillside. Yes. And we want to then bridge over the road here. Sorry, over the rail line here. So there's no crossing and no interference with one another. They can both go about their business nice and freely. Go for the iron bridge as per, because it's faster. There we go. Keep it straight at this point. Haha, -ha, I didn't click the wrong thing this time. I learned. There we go. Can we just move that back a touch? Yes, that's fine. Now, that's not going to bridge over this road. However, we can start raising up again at this point. To ensure it does bridge, or it keeps the bridge active, I should say. Construction not possible. Too much. Oh, it's because it's trying to go down again, isn't it? See, we... Ah, okay. What if we raise it up a little? In fact, let's take it back. Let's raise it up all the way from this point. And then we can be, have a nice level bridge, rather than having the bridge climb up even further. That'll probably be the best solution there. There we go. It is quite steep, but... It'll do. Yes. And then raise up just a touch more as you cross over this section. Oh, you're not wanting to do it. Oh, I've got it connected. Okay. I didn't have it connected to the bridge. That was the problem there. Yes. And then if you go perhaps just a little more. In fact, you can probably not climb as aggressively now and you'll still give me a bridge. Let's try. Fingers crossed this works. Yes. If I go level, yes. Absolutely perfect. Doesn't look too bad and it clears all the catenary masts nicely. There's no point... Yes, we could drop down a little bit, I suppose. And But now we're going to yeah, keep it level because we're about to cross the river. So we're going to need a bridge. So this is an extremely long bridge, but that's okay. If it does the job, that's the main thing. Bring it back just to the edge of the river there. Like so. And then we want to drop down and connect into the road here. It's quite steep, quite aggressive, but... I suppose it does the job. 
Yeah. We'll take it. And then we want to upgrade this. Uh, do we have buses running down here? Not yet, but we may do in the future. So let's give them a bus lane. In fact, let's give them a high speed road as well. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's fine. That's all fine. And now go for that there. Get rid of the dirt road that we had. To here. And then we'll switch to the smaller capacity road as you enter into town. And you should be good there. Yeah. And it keeps the trams away from the traffic for the most part as well, hopefully. At least in theory it should do. And now we have a private transport connection between the two cities as well. As I said, we'll go ahead and set up a bus between the two. We have this interchange here. How many platforms are being used? Both of them. We could expand them. It will involve some demolition work, but that's okay. We've done it before. We'll do it again. Let's quickly pause it so they don't get a chance to rebuild while we're doing this. Because that would be frustrating. And we'll do it both sides. Keep it symmetrical, like that. And then we're going to run the bus down this way. We'll upgrade this road here to a medium town road. And we'll have a bus lane, because there is going to be a bus running down here. Okay, this is removing quite a few buildings, but that's fine. You can live with that. And then you can drop off in here. Where shall we have the drop off point? Where would be an eye? In fact, I think if we put it in here... And we'll have a proper passenger station for this. We'll go for the big size straight off the bat. Like that. It's electrified. It might not need a tram line. But we'll put it in there now. So it's done just in case we do use one in the future. However, I'm not sure that we will. Upgrade this road here. Yes, you're going to demolish some buildings. But that's okay. I can live with that as I said. And get some bus lanes where the buses run. There we go, that'll do. And now the bus can come here, down here, and we'll add a stop here, and then it can carry on on its way. So let's change that bus service to reflect the new layout. So after Broadway, you're coming here, which is Ulverston Central. I'll keep that name, I think that's not too bad. However, I would prefer you to use a different platform. If you go to platform one, oh, you're going to be doing loopy loops. Okay, you go to platform four, so you're out of the way. Yep, that's fine. We can pause it, and then we can get a line from Ulverston Central to the passenger exchange at Weybridge. What colour shall we have him? We shall have him yellow. Which way are you coming? You're coming that way, are you? I'd have been happier if you'd have come this way. We can do that with a waypoint, though. We could force its hand. Not a problem. Post box and post box. I suppose in town post boxes do blend in, so that's okay. Now I'll go back to the line manager, line one, and after Ulverston, if you go to this, yes, that's better. And then are you going out that way? Yes, you are. Perfect. That's not a problem. That's what I want you to do. And this is Intercity Bus, Ulverston to Weybridge. Ulverson to Weybridge, yep, absolutely fine. Get some buses, where's the nearest depot? We have one in town, just there. Passenger, and we'll have eight for now. Might need more, it might be popular, it might not. Eight's a decent starting point though. Get them on the line and see what that does in terms of passenger generation. Nothing yet, hopefully up here this might have changed. Nope, give it time, I'm sure it will. But it, what it has done, it, it will have increased the destination value here, which helps growth, as you can see. In fact, we can see it climbing there, 340, 30, 30, 30 48, 30, 50, and on it goes. Should do the same in Weybridge as well. Yep, that's excellent. In fact, it's affecting both of them. If you look, it's affecting the private transport destinations. That's gone up. And it's also, oh no, it's just gone down. Oh, it's whatever. It's also affected the public transport destinations, because we have a bus line doing this route as well. So that's all tickety-boo, and what we wanted it to do. You've not had a delivery yet. I guess the train can't be too far off, though. We know we've had a logging delivery. Has one of our trains left yet? No, what are you waiting on? Ah, you're waiting on the 
tool freight train. Okay, yes, because they're not set to wait indefinite, are they? No, they're not. So we've had one train full of planks that's departed. We just saw it there, making its way out. Not fully loaded, but that's okay. Just to kickstart things, it should do the job. I think we're going to need more logging trains for this. Because it is two to one, and it is a fair distance. So at the minute, there's probably quite an excessive weight between deliveries. We can check that by going onto the line and checking the statistics. That's not where you check it, that is. There we go. Yes, the trains are only arriving at each station every 6 minutes and 54 seconds, which is over half a year. So if we double that, in theory, we should halve the rate. Let's have a look. Clone all vehicles, yes. We'll give it a few moments for it to recalculate, but that should drop the rate down to about 3 minutes. Which means the tools, sorry, the planks, the sawmill, that's the one, isn't running dry for as long a time as it is at the moment. If you know what I mean. Well, I mean, let's quickly name these trains. Macclesfield to Hayward, and this is 04. And the increased throughput should be absolutely fine. So you're heading through to Petersfield, aren't you? Yes. Would it be better... If you had a bypass, I think it would. So I think if we come from this point here and build him a quick bypass, if we stay level, that should give us a decent junction, but we can check. Can't see at the moment because the train is covering it, but he will soon pass. In fact, there's his back end going now. How does that look? That is horrendous. There we go, that's better. So he's going to have to drop down a little, but that's okay. What do we have? The Pioneer Zephyr. I think we shall see about putting him in service somewhere. But first I want to get this bypass line finished off. Like that. Okay, that's fine. Oops, didn't mean to close that. And then just very quickly, very simply, bypass the station, connect into the line towards Petersfield. And then there should be less trains getting caught up on each other on these platforms here. And that should help pick up our throughput and our delivery rates for all concerned. So if we can get a nice merge here without it looking too horrendous. How does that look? Yep, it does look horrendous. But that looks better. Yes, take that. And then because the second one's parallel, we know it is going to be a nice junction on that part as well. Let's quickly get the signals up for this bit. Don't think these are going to be needed because the only trains coming up this way are going to be the tools delivery line. So, shouldn't be any dramas of trains blocking each other there. So I'll quickly get these signals dropped in and then we'll turn our attention to our new unlock which was the Pioneer Zephyr and see where we'd like to run that train. It's going to be a shuttle service somewhere, however I don't want it to replace the Flying Scotsman. So we'll perhaps run it to between Stoke and Bridgewater or maybe Derby and Gillingham. Let's see who would benefit most, which of those two is the busiest of the lines, if we just take that off and then go for trains, sort it by line. So we have, oops, upside down, there we go. The Gillingham Derby Shuttle makes us 5 million and carries 456 and is pretty busy. The, uh, where is the other? Bridgewater, that's the one. That carries 320 and has a rate of 446. So there's not much in it. However, that does have electric trains, which is nice. So I might change out this service here, because that's still running the Russian Class S. So let's manage vehicles. Replace all. Oh, it's a multi-unit, isn't it? Yes. You carry 52. That just looks strange. 
How? What's that going to do? That's. Oh, I, I ed edit the train. That's what I want to do. So get rid of that. Put on the Pioneer Zephyr. Do we have any wagons that would blend in with that train? No, maybe the heavyweight parlour. It doesn't look too bad, but the co oh yeah, the colours are going to be off, aren't they? So it is reduced capacity, but it is faster, and it does handle the gradients better. So I think we go for that. We'll go for the yeah. We'll change them out for the Pioneer Zephyr. There we go. Twenty-eight million. Set the maintenance actually, because they do go near the cities, don't they? And we'll go and have a look at one of these, shall we? Whoop. Are you just arriving or just departing? You are just departing. Train 5. <laughs> well, it's yeah, that's what you're called. Maybe we need to think of a better name for that. Doesn't look too bad. Let's see how he does in terms of getting up to speed. He should get up to... Wait, what was his top speed is 110. We'll see what he does do for us. Train number is 1978. So we'll just have a little ride on this, enjoy the views and see what sort of speed he's able to attain. A few people there waiting at the crossroads, excellent. This is all high speed track, so he should be able to get up to his top speed. Here's one of his sister trains just about to pass now. Get out of the way. He seems to be struggling with the speed a little bit, which is unfortunate. I hoped he'd have got up to speed by now. Just noticed there's loads of grass growing through the ballast, which looks bizarre, especially on a, a busy line. So at one point, oh, we have an achievement, high speed. We'll have a look at that on the pop-up in a few moments. So I guess these trains are getting up to speed, because I guess that unlocks when you hit 100 miles an hour, perhaps. They're quite sluggish on the old acceleration. We must be nearing Stoke by now. Can't see any signs of it off on the horizon. It's up to 68, 69. But yep, I can see some buildings there in the distance, so we are getting close. I guess they don't get up to speed, which is disappointing, but... We'll keep them on the line anyway, just because it's different and it's something new and it's a bit of variety in our trains. Yeah, you're starting to slow it. Oh, this is because of the junction, isn't it? I suppose we could look at relaying the junctions, you know, ripping up the old track and putting some higher speed junctions in to get encourage them to keep their speed and get up to speed a little better. Here is the third or fourth, including our fourth and final train that we're passing now yeah a little bit underwhelming if I'm honest reach top speed of 120 kilometers per hour not sure what that is in miles per hour I can't remember the conversion and if I could I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be able to do it in my head so it, we, it's obviously getting faster than our existing trains because we've unlocked it as soon as we put the Zephyrs on but I must say, as I just said there, I am a little bit underwhelmed by that. I wanted more, I expected more, I'd hoped for more. But oh well. I'm guessing we've oversaturated these lines now. Probably don't need quite so many aircraft on these lines. Although you're full, you're also full. Have you left? Yes, you're also full. I think it's a stoke line which is oversaturated. We could see about removing some... Some of the trains from... Uh, some, sorry, trains? <laughs> yeah, we've got a flying train. Well, we've got the Flying Scotsman, I suppose. Now, we'll see about removing some aircraft from that line because I think it's clearly oversaturated. And that's just going to be a waste of money. Yes, we have now pick up on our intercity bus from Ulverston to Weybridge, which is pleasing to see. In fact, do you have any passengers? You are full. So that's made a difference, which is good. It's also got our private citizens in the private transport using the connection as well which is what we wanted to see 
shows that it was beneficial and worthwhile. What I may also do is, from the bus station we put here, is if I'll do it, rather than just talk about doing it, I'll go ahead and actually do it, is have a line that goes from this station. We'll have it at nice shade. Oh no, that's a bit too conflicting with the existing colour there. What about orange? No, red? Yes, red. We'll have a line from Ulverston Central down to the Harbour Passenger Exchange. Like that. So the people from Ulverston can get a direct service to the harbour. Although, I think they could just change and get on the tram. Um, yeah, they could, couldn't they? Forget that. They can use a tram instead. Keeps our trams nice and busy. Which I think our tram. Yay! Sometimes you make money, sometimes you don't. That's that's fair enough. What about the intercity tram? You should never make money. Oh, that's the vehicle itself. Yeah, we're not making money on the public transport, the buses and the trams, but oh well. We're making enough money on our freight lines and I think our main line as well that we can offset the losses quite comfortably without worrying about going into too much debt, which is good. Ah, oh, the train. Yes, they're taking that line. I didn't see him do it, but as you can see here by the line, he is now bypassing this station, which is what we wanted to see. Okay, we have a problem here. The problem is... Oh no, these not wait until fully loaded, do they? So he should clear off pretty soon. They've still got quite a few stored. I guess the slowdown is there's not much production up here at this point. Because you're only being you're only supplying two places. Obviously Ulverston and Petersfield. Why is Petersfield not calling out for more tools, I wonder? Is it because the trains are too infrequent? Could well be. There's our additional logging train making his way over, and our fourth one as well. So they've cleared that little junction back around Coventry Tool Forge without too many issues, on, without causing too many delays, which is very pleasing to see. I'm just going to take some of this gradient out there just while I'm in the area likewise along here because that's quite steep there we go that looks better just keeps it that little bit smoother a bit more natural looking that's fine that'll do do the same up here as well where we've got the quite a ridiculous embankment leading to the bridge just make it look a little bit more genuine and natural or at least a bit more of a great gradual gradient down to the to the grass uh, to the land you know what I mean because it looks a little bit ridiculous there we have to do the same over here yeah just take a bit off there and a little bit off there a little bit of filler at the moment just while I'm passing a bit of time just having a nice slower pace sort of episode today after the major construction we did last time around Sometimes it's nice just to, you know, sit back and tidy a few things up here and there. How are we doing up here? What's arriving? How many tools do we have? We've only got 45 tools. It would be nice to see more throughput there. I'm not sure if that's because it's just still waiting to kick into gear. Or if it's the slow rate. Could be either or, really. Uh, one thing I am going to do is at this point here where we have this one branch office have a second one for our logging trains to leave the network or leave this line. Why are you not possible? What's wrong with you? That's... Ah, it's because of that signal there, isn't it? Yeah, okay. If we get rid of that signal and then from here get it, come on. Yeah, have a fairly rapid branch line a little bit further maybe push 60 that'll do and then do the same for the second track uh, basically what I'm doing is giving these logging trains a longer runoff so they can get onto platform if there's a couple of planks to 
delivery trains waiting at the same time. Just speed up so we can get clear, so we can do a bit, a bit, a little bit of deletion because we're gonna have to get rid of some tracks here. There we go. Don't know why I paused it. Didn't mean to. Okay, now we're gonna pause it because we're gonna have to demolish some lines, which is gonna confuse our lines. But all will become clear in the near future. There and there, and then connect in like this. Where's the connection point? If I get a bit closer, should be able to there we go, pick it up nicely. And there, yep, that's resolved the issues that they were having. So we can unpause it now. And we'll put a few waiting signals in here. And I'd say one more here. And um, yeah, you're going to wait there. And you can also, we don't need this little, where's the crossover there? So we don't need that anymore, so we can get rid of that. So we have scope for the train to wait there, and we could probably go with this one there as well, and that should be enough to clear the back ends off of the platform. See the wait in here shouldn't be as bad because all they're doing is going in, dropping off and then leaving straight away. It's the tools trains waiting that's the issue. Where are you going? Oh, you're having to drop off there, aren't you? Because I changed the line after you moved on. That's okay. Yeah, from now on, you're going to come up this way. It's just while I uh, was fiddling with the lines. He had no alternative but to go to platform two. So that's okay. It was just a, a one-off event there. That's okay. That's fine. We will want a uh, signal just here to protect the that junction. You can protect that one. That's okay. We have one protecting that junction while I wait for the trains to come down here. However, the trains could back up there, but that's okay because they'll soon be cleared by this signal. So any delays are only going to be a matter of minutes, if that. So that's not going to be an issue. I'm happy with that. Can live with that. Okay. What I'd like to see, as I said, is this to start pumping out more. Product. We've got up to 69 there. Perhaps with time we'll see greater production what okay we're having the same issue here you see that he is going to be waiting to get on platform and that's going to block off any waiting planks freight trains that are coming to unload so what I'd like to do is send him on his way now only partially loaded but that gets him on platform so any waiting logging trains I don't think we have any on the way yet actually Yes, we do. He can get straight on platform so there's no positive feedback loop where they're waiting for planks, but the planks can't get on because the train's waiting for planks. If you know what I mean. It shouldn't happen because I don't think they set to wait for an unlimited amount of time. But either way, it's definitely not going to be an issue anymore because I've sent him on his way. And hopefully, it won't be an issue in future. But if it does transpire that it does become an issue, we may have to, from this point, quad track this section of the line so the tools trains can wait off of the main access line to allow free access for our planks trains to get in and out without any delays. But we'll see what happens there. We'll keep an eye on it. We can come back to it in the future and check. How are we doing over in Quintral Downs? Looking pretty good. It's growing a little bit. Oh, have they re rebuilt in Ulverston from where we demolished their buildings? Yes, they have. Now we have a major road. It looks a bit daft because it's still quite a small town. But I suppose if Ulverston does experience rapid growth in the future, it is now covered. You're not getting many bricks deliveries there. What's the issue? What's your issue here? Is it just the... Yeah, I think it's just the frequency of the bricks that are being delivered. That's the issue. Probably could do with quite a few more vehicles in that case. So we'll add another five on to make it up to ten. Where have they come out of? Because they've not come out of that depot. I suppose it doesn't really matter. They'll arrive when they arrive. It's no great drama if they have to wait around a little bit. Darby, how are you doing for your bricks? You could, oh, you could do with a lot more trucks on that line. Oops, click the wrong thing. I meant to click the depot. There we go. Oh, you have a lot. Okay, so I guess the issue is the arrival of the bricks themselves. 
mate, yeah, there's only a frequency of 12 minutes, which is basically a ship arrives at harbour once a year. I don't think there's any danger in doubling those. It will make our river a lot busier. But if it keeps things flowing that little bit faster, encourages exponential growth, then it's well worth doing. Even if this, this river does become quite crowded. Holy moly, we have a lot of people waiting to go to Bridgewater. Our express train is looking quite beaten up there. Perhaps we should increase the maintenance. In fact, after we made the changes to the M, is the M500, the M300, how's it done in fine? Oh, it's made a big difference. Oh, going the wrong way. Yeah, that's when we had the MILWs running the line. And this is when we changed over. And they're now profitable from time to time, whereas here they were just constantly running at a massive loss. So I think we can absorb the cost of running these at high maintenance now. So we'll do that because they do go into the cities and they are going to contribute to noise pollution, which is not something we want to see happen. So what's the slowdown here? Why do we have no mainline trains in the vicinity? As I said, no, that's a northern mainline train. Where are our Coventry mainline trains? There should be... Is that one there? Yes. But I'm concerned by the lack of frequency here. In fact, let's check the frequency on these trains. Go on to manage line. Nope. Not on to manage line. Line, statist line statistics. The Coventry Main Line every five minutes. That could be a lot better, surely. Especially for a Main Line train. How many do you have assigned? You have six. I'm going to add, add. I'm going to add another two. Make it up to eight and see if that bumps up the frequency a little bit and gets people moving that little bit faster. Other than that, things looking good. Is there anything else I have a burning desire to attend to this episode? Perhaps, yes, I said I was going to look at the Stoke Airline and see if we could do with getting rid of some, some passengers from this line. Sorry, some aircraft from this line because they're not running full and they're now starting to lose money. And we've had, ooh, had quite a bit of a drop off there. I'm not sure what's caused that, but that's disappointing to see. Hmm, I'm not sure what the cause is behind that. But yes, we need to get rid of some of these aircraft. I think we have too many. We've oversaturated. Look, we've only got 20 out of, well, 21 out of 80. So we're only running at 25% capacity of the line. So that to me says we can get rid of, I'm going to take it down to six vehicles. Some of them may have passengers on board. I did mean to duplicate them. How much? I wanted to get rid of six from ten. So that would take it down to... No, four... Yep, what? Whatever, that's fine. Just run with that many. I've got myself all sorts of confused there. How are we doing over here? I'm just doing a few quick checks while I'm filling time. Looking good, not looking too bad at all. No delays up there. Do we have any delays around Gillingham like we did previously? Not really. Everything seems to be a bit more free-flowing nowadays, which is excellent. That's what we want to see. How are we doing over at the Morley Goods Factory? Hopefully we're quite free-flowing up here as well. Well, the trucks are, which is excellent. We have a lot of goods waiting to go to Stoke, and we'll have a train on the way to collect them, I'm sure, in the not-too-distant future. Have you made a delivery yet? You've made a couple. Yeah, uh, you're probably not profitable overall. Is it delaying the amount of steel that's being delivered, perhaps? Is that what's causing our issues here? Do we need an extra line, sorry, an extra train delivering steel into this factory? Go back to our steel factory and see our consumers. Probably do a shipping more than 260, I think. But I suppose you are still just, you know, you're a lot of time waiting around for a full load. Do we need to increase our coal throughput, maybe? Well, at the minute, they're still running the old steam trains. Let's see about just changing them up. Something a bit more powerful. What are you running at the minute? You are running the Class S. Let's see about having... The Class 9000. Infinitely better there. Which also says we can go ahead and add extra cargo wagons on as well to increase our throughput. 
Perhaps another five. Yeah, that's still all good. Still good, still good, still good. We'll do that. We'll upgrade that line. See what that does for us at the steel mill. Hopefully it gets a bit more throughput and production. Because we have exhausted our coal supplies, even with this supplementary line that we have here. Okay, I think there's an auto save. So while it's auto saving, I'll say my goodbyes. Because I was about to say, I think this is a, a decent enough place to end the episode now. Not anything major occurring in this episode in terms of new builds. Obviously, we put a bit of a, a motorway in between Ulverston and Weybridge. Oh, dear. Let's address this. You've got no path. Oh, 10 new vehicles. That's quite a lot. We've got the Hiawatha, Opal Blitz trucks. We have streamlined coaches, the Zordic uh, ship, the Class A4, another rail bus and something else that I've forgotten already but we can take a look at all oh, it was a, an airplane an aircraft was it the Douglas yeah we can take a look at them in the next episode uh, I'm just gonna finish this episode by sorting this train out I guess the issue is he's overhanging the switch indeed he is so we'll quickly amend this by extending the platform out where's the cargo pipes down way down here that's passenger that's cargo there we go we'll give him a longer platform and a longer track extend it all the way out there in fact no we can't go anymore that's the maximum that's fine it does want to be electrified but it is slow speed still and that should have resolved that issue he says it should but it hasn't now it will have yes so yeah, we'll end this episode here, and in the next episode we'll go through all those new unlocks and see what we can have running our lines. I imagine quite a few of them are going to start seeing service pretty soon. Uh, but until that time, guys, all that remains for me to say is, as always, you take care of yourselves. It's ta-ta for now.